What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and if you have come to this video because you're looking for a couple of exercises to help build your forearms bigger, today I'm gonna show you five different exercises with three, I guess you could call bonus exercises that you can do the next time you're trying to work your forearms. All right, so like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about forearm exercises, building the, the underside of your forearm, the top side of your forearm. So you got your, your wrist flexors, you got your forearm flexors, and then you got your extensors down there, and then you got your uh, big meaty muscle of the forearm, which is your brachioradialis. And I'm gonna show you exercises that are gonna hit every single one of these. Uh, but before I get into those, I just wanna make sure that you guys aren't just going to the gym and only hitting forearms to build your forearms bigger. Um, I personally don't hit forearms all the time. I don't have massive forearms by any means, but I really put a lot of emphasis into making sure that I'm doing compound movements. Um, I'm working on grip strength and stuff like that. And that all comes with obviously just understanding like what your overall training plan should be. So like if you're trying to bulk, you should be training a lot differently than someone who's trying to cut. You, someone who's cutting should be using supersets. They should be doing hit workouts. Someone who's bulking should be lifting heavy, followed by hypertrophy workouts. And so there's different ways to go on about it. And if you're wanting to know exactly how you should be going about um, the right training for whatever your goals are, we do have a free body type quiz that tells you what your body type is and then exactly what you should be doing in the gym and also in the kitchen for getting some real results for whatever your body type is. So um, if you want some help with getting in shape and knowing what that overall plan should look like, again, the quiz is free. It's six easy questions. Um, I'll throw a link to it down in the description below this video. But let's say you got all that training stuff taken care of and you're just trying to throw a little bit of accessory movements into your workouts afterwards and you, you really wanna focus on forearms. Well, these are gonna be some great exercises to throw in. So um, the three like little bonus exercises that I hinted at, I'm not really gonna take you guys through it because it's very simple. One, one very easy way to build your forearms bigger is to make them stronger. And how you make them stronger is by increasing your grip strength. That's one proven way to get your forearms to become bigger. And one way that you do that is just work on grip strength. Work on holding something for an extended period of time. And so whether that means you're just holding some dumbbells down by your side and you're just sitting there for a couple of minutes. Like, I mean like heavy dumbbells, probably like a hundreds or whatever the heaviest dumbbells you have at your gym are and then holding that as long as you can till it's about to give out, drop, wait a minute, do it all over again. Or like farmer carries, just carrying maybe some kettlebells or something, just walking literally wraps or laps around your gym to work on that grip strength. Or maybe even hanging from like a pull-up bar and you're just holding your body weight as long as you possibly can. Getting your grip strength up is going to uh, equate to getting bigger forearms. So those are some pretty simple ways to go about it. A little more boring. If you want some actual exercises, let's get into them. Um, first, I'm gonna start with, I'd say the two most basic exercises for building bigger forearms. Cause um, like I said, I mean, we all think of forearms and we think of right here. That's, this is, this is the main area that we think of when we think forearms. And so obviously building this part right here is gonna be huge. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is just by doing some wrist flexion. And so what we're gonna be doing here are some forearm curls essentially. And so um, this is something that you can go a little bit heavier, I'd say probably 20 to 40 pounds, depending on um, how strong your forearms are already and how quickly they're gonna fatigue. Um, I just have a 25 here just for demonstration purposes, but basically what you wanna do is grab this weight and you wanna grab this weight tight. That's another thing I don't think people um, do when they're working forearms. I think they just kinda of loosely hold the weight, when in reality, if you can squeeze tight, you're gonna be using your grip strength a lot more and you're gonna be working your forearms a lot more. So grip that thing tight, and then you can either lay it on your knee like so, or you can like get a bench and put it out to the side. I think knee's probably just easier. Um, but you're gonna grab this weight, get it situated, letting your wrist hang off. So it's probably going about there. And then from there, what you're gonna do is you're just going to allow your wrist to drop down all the way, trying to get as much of a stretch in your forearms as possible. And then keeping that strong grip, you're going to drive your palm up towards your elbow as far as you can. Squeeze, drop it back down, that's one rep. Squeeze up, drop it back down, that's two reps. Squeeze up, drop it back down, that's three reps. And 
Another piece of advice that I would give for this specific exercise, and really for all these exercises when you're trying to work forearms, is you really wanna focus on tension, like time under tension. And so what that means is rather than just getting under this weight and just rocking through this real quickly like that, slow it down a little bit. Drop this weight down, make it take a few seconds, feel that stretch, drive it up slowly, squeeze at the top, feel that contraction, drop it back down slowly, feel the stretch, and go nice and slow through the exercise, and you're gonna find that after just one single rep of, let's say, 12 reps, if you go slow, you're gonna feel a lot more of a burn than if you just rock through 12, put it down, rock through 12, put it down, rock through 12, put it down. So slow it down, it's gonna help you feel it a lot more. The second uh, exercise is going to be a forearm, or like, a, I guess, a wrist extension. With wrist extension, this is where we're going to be working the top side of our forearm. And so obviously you have that big meaty part underneath, but you also have this part up here that's also going to help play a large role in how big your forearms are. So with this, you're gonna be grabbing some lighter weight. And so I only have tens here because you're gonna find that your forearms fatigue a lot more when you actually are extending your wrist rather than curling them up. Um, but here again, same thing, putting it on the end of your knee, dropping it down as far as you can, trying to get a stretch up here. And then from there, you're going to take your wrist, squeezing this weight so you're really gripping, driving it up as high as you can, squeezing, feeling the contraction, driving it back down slowly. Again, we're not going like this. Not doing this. We're going controlled up, squeeze, controlled back down, stretch. Controlled up, squeeze, controlled back down, stretch. And so um, for both those exercises, again, make sure you're going slow, make sure you're going controlled, make sure you're going a weight that you can actually uh, use effectively. You don't want to load up on weight because it's much better to go lighter with controlled form and work your way up than it is to go too heavy and basically waste your time. Those are the first two exercises. Um, probably the best two just staple exercises for building your forearms when it comes to wrist flexion and wrist extension. Um, but now the last three exercises that I wanna get into are yes, going to work with your grip strength, especially this first one, um, but it's also going to be working a part of the forearm. I don't think people normally associate with being part of the forearm. And what I'm talking about is the brachioradialis. And a big reason why people do things like hammer curls and, and overhanded curls and overhanded curls are actually gonna be the next exercise. And the reason why is because when you're doing an overhanded curl, you gotta understand that yes, you're gonna be hitting biceps, but because your palms are facing down, you're actually going to be hitting this muscle right here. So it, it, it basically runs to like the middle part of your forearm. And so this is like where your forearms show their size right there. And so making sure that you're working that brachioradialis, that big muscle that you can see popping out as I flex, if you can work that a bunch, that's going to give you bigger form. With this exercise, you're gonna get an uh, easy curl bar, and then you're gonna grip this e probably exactly at shoulder width apart, so you don't wanna be too wide, you don't wanna be too close. Um, just make sure that you're at the perfect angle to curl this straight up. Keeping your elbows tucked in from there, you're gonna grab this weight, and then you're really gonna focus on A, gripping this bar super hard. So you're squeezing this bar, you're gonna keep your elbows in that same spot, you're gonna curl this weight up, squeezing at the top, drop it back down slowly. Curling it up, squeeze at the top, drop it back down slowly. So right there, very simple movement, but if done right, yes, you're gonna feel it in your biceps, um, but you're also going to feel it a lot right here in this, let's call it the elbow area. So that part right there is gonna blow up because of those overhanded curls. Um, but the next exercise is another super common one that people do all the time. And this is hammer curls. And the reason that I'm using a bunch of like, I guess you could call very simple, basic exercises is because I want you guys to understand that when you're trying to work specific muscles, you don't have to get super creative with the exercises that you're choosing. I've built my body to a place where I'm really happy with it and I haven't done hardly any weird exercises. I'm sticking to the basic and that builds you to where you want. So when you're doing stuff to build the forearms, you don't need to get crazy with it. Do stuff that's going to shorten the muscle and lengthen the muscle 
and you're good. So this exercise, hammer curl. Um, let's just make sure you're doing the hammer curl correctly. So hammer curl obviously is a curl where your palms are going to be neutral. Your palms are going to be facing each other as you curl this way. It helps hit the long head of the bicep, but it also hip, helps hit that brachioradialis. So what we're doing to take it a step further is simply gripping this weight as hard as possible again. So getting into a nice strong position, what I like to do is rather than standing up straight like this, I like to bring my elbows just a little bit forward. And then from there, I'm going to grip that weight, curl up, squeeze at the top, return it back down slowly. And I'm not going to lock my elbows out. So I'm going back to that starting position where my biceps are already being worked. Curl this up, squeeze, return it back down slowly to the starting position and back up. So very simple exercise, but very effective for building not only your biceps, but also that part of your forearm that we've been talking about. And then last but not least, the Zotman curl. And so I call this a unique exercise just because it's not a curl that you see done at the gym a lot, but definitely has its place. And basically what this is, is a hybrid style curl where you're going to be starting at the bottom with your palms facing forward. So your wrists are gonna be supinated. From there, you're going to curl this weight up to the top. Then at the top, you're actually going to take your wrists and pronate them. And so now your wrist or your hands or your palms are facing down. And then you're going to lower the weight while your wrist is facing down. And you're gonna flip it over, curl up, flip it down, go down. As your wrists are facing down, that's going to allow you to work that brachioradialis. So what this looks like is getting this weight, getting to a nice strong position. Again, I like to have my elbows slightly forward. From there, again, wrist facing forward. You're going to curl up to the very top, flip your wrists over so that your palms are facing down, lower this weight to the starting position, not here, starting position, flip them around, curl up, flip them over, lower back down. So the Zotman curl is right there. Definitely an exercise that forces you to have more time and attention, which is exa exactly what we're trying to do with all these exercises, but that's it guys. Those are the five actual exercises. And of course there's the, the exercises like dead hangs and, and just holds and farmer carries that you can also throw in to work on your grip strength, which will help build your forearms. But um, again, make sure that you are also throwing in like the big compound lifts because the more big compound lifts, the more just your overall body is going to grow and the more overall muscle you're going to grow. But if you're trying to do some isolation exercises at the end, try out some of these and let me know how you like them down in the comments below. Also, if you have a forearm exercise that I didn't cover in today's video that's possibly your favorite or your go-to, let me know down below. Um, I'm always reading through the comments. I'm, I'm curious to know what your favorites are. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel here on YouTube if you're not yet a part of the V-Shred fam. We got tons of content coming out. Um, so make sure you're, 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 you're on that train because we're going. Um, but that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.